right. Breaking news. Da -da -da -da. Breaking news. Uh, we got some uh, the Oasis Times brought to you by uh, Teddy Caliendo. Uh, uh, okay. So um, the first article starts out. It's a uh, article uh, debating the death of uh, Dato, who was one of the two samurai boys, and. Uh, so, and it's a lot of like people talking, you know, they're like, who killed him? Some people think IOI killed him. Some people think, uh, well, according to Shrimply Pibbles, the head of IOI security, he thinks that it was a, uh, it's a, a hoax, you know, trying to, trying to get some stuff against IOI. And, you know, Shrimply Pibbles goes on to say that there are no data leaks going on. There's no proof that they ever did it. Shrimply Pibbles is on it. He knows what he's doing. All right, that's, it's a very biased article though. There's, there's not all the facts. Uh, but yeah, that, that's, uh, that's the first article, all right? Under that, it's a little subtext about uh, Uganda Knuckles taking over Africa. Uh, they're looking for the way. Uh, I guess we'll have more info on that coming coming soon. Uh, then we've got the IOI Myrtle scandal. Uh, looks like they got some more evidence on our boy Sorrento over there. You know, it looks like he uh, tried to blow up uh, Wade, you know, Wade Watts, or otherwise known as a uh, Parcival, uh, famous Oasis guy who's uh, who's really who's really tearing stuff up. You know, everyone really appreciates him because of how how he's grinding. He's not just sitting there like. Oh, I got this key. I might as well just give up, you know, sell out, you know. He's like, I'm going to get this key. I'm going to get this gate, and I'm going to win it. And that's that's what they we appreciate. And we don't like it when China people are blowing up his house and stuff. Like, who does that, you know? And uh, so we got an interview with Wade Watts, right? This is a picture of him right here. He looks pretty pretty good, I got to say. He's got a nice haircut. You know, he looks like he's lost some weight, you know. He's got his thumbs up. He's happy. He's ready. He's going to go. He's going to do it. And uh, so this is, this is a Wade Watts interview. We uh, just asked him some basic questions, you know, a little bit of Artemis. He's got this little love relationship going on, but she's kind of like, well, man, you know, I, I gotta win this. And he's like, whoa, man. Well, actually, one woman, you know. But you never know. It's, it's the internet, am I right, guys? And, uh, you know, he's just, he's just chilling, you know? And, uh, yeah. And we got some, we got some ads. If you flip it over, uh, we got the, uh, flip it over. We got the, uh, Chef Pickle Betty. It, uh, it's a pleasure bot. That means, uh, you know, it's, it, it has some services that it can provide you. I, I wouldn't recommend it, you know. I, you know, guys, you gotta you gotta get out there. You gotta find a woman. You know, you don't you don't need this robot. Uh, and then under that, we got a, a like a shaftic uh, technology. It's a it's like an immersion rig. You know, if you want your experience to be really good, you gotta get a good rig. I don't know. That's just me. That's how I prefer it. Uh, we got sports column. I mean, who even listens to sports anymore? This is like a story about like video games. But uh, we have a sports column. Uh, Wade Watts has found his first egg, or first key, or gate in the Easter egg hunt, okay? So the Easter egg hunt is about this egg, right? And it gets you a lot of money if you get it. And he's found the first key, he's rolling. Like I said before, he he's grinding. Every day he's out there and he's looking for these keys and he's getting these gates. And where is everyone else? I say, where is everybody else? Not there, not where Wade Watts is. And this is why he's the best, all right? You know, we got, we got four other, they're good. They're not great, but they're good. And, but Wade Watts is the focus of this article here because he is rolling. And uh, we got a, we got a comic, we got a funny here. It's a uh, it's a IOI meeting. You know, we got Sorrento talking. He's trying to brainstorm, and one of these goofballs is like, he's like, oh, we should just blow up the sector. And he says, oh, yeah, okay. And that's what happens. And he's walking away with his buddy, and he goes, oh, uh, let's see, uh, does he uh, does he know he's gonna blow up everyone? He says, God, I hope so. I mean, can you, can you get a load of this? I mean, this guy wants to blow people up. Is he joking? Is he making a joke? Nobody knows. Maybe we should read the book and find out. All right. So we got a the real. We got another column here. It's the real life one, so it's not as interesting. But you know, they're thinking about uh, thinking about World War IV there or World War III. You know, there's been so many wars going on, nobody even counts anymore, right? And uh, yeah, that's pretty important. But the real important thing is the Battle of Rock's Castle, right? This is the biggest battle in history. So these gunters are like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and the Sixers are like. And then there's like these mechs going and they're fighting each other. And there was like this thing called Voltron. They tried to gear up, but they blew it up. And then they're all fighting. And Shoto, Dato's brother, is killed too. So he's out of the game. And then the three people rush in. They're ready to go. They're grinding. They're going in. <coughs> Sorry, I had to, had to fix myself here. And they're grinding and they're going in. And all of a sudden, kablam, they all blow up, all right? Because the sector bomb just exploded and they're all dead. But, you know, I, my boy Wade, who I've been preaching since number one, gets up and he puts a quarter in there and he's back in the action and he's just in there and he's just going and he just unlocks the key and he goes in there and he wins. He wins the whole damn thing. And uh, I think that's about it.
Is anyone else going to speak? No? All right, thank you.